Last year, I got my first water box aquarium. In this video, I unbox the aquarium and give you my review six months later. Hi there, it's Connor. Welcome to my review on the Waterbox Clear Mini. Ever since I got into aquascaping, I had known about the Waterbox brand, and after seeing all the beautiful images on their website, I knew it was always a tank I wanted to get. And last Black Friday, they had a nice sale, and I ended up going and picking up the Waterbox Clear Mini 20 gallon, which is a cube aquarium. And now six months later, I pretty much only have positive things to say. First, I want to show an unboxing of this aquarium. But if this is your first time here, I want to welcome you to the channel and welcome you to subscribe if you want to see more reviews like this and also follow updates on this tank. Jumping into the unboxing, um, you'll see here it was pretty well packaged. They actually put it in two boxes. There is a normal stocking box that you would see at the store. And then for shipping it, they put that in a separate box that had foam surrounding the actual shipping box. So it was packed very well. Um, it was not very, I mean, it was, it's heavy, but um, it was easy to carry for one person. Obviously the box is big, it's a cube aquarium, but I was able to carry it myself easily, no problem. Now opening the actual box, you'll see um, each of the four corners has cardboard around them, and then it's wrapped in plastic around that. Um, some documentation is included in two. I thought about just lifting it right out, but it seemed too heavy. I was kind of worried about uh, um, possibly damaging it. So what I did was I actually just ripped the box open from the sides and cut the plastic off and took it out just like that. I thought that was easiest. But uh, overall, I had no issues from getting it shipped. Um, I thought it was packaged very well and it had fragile all over the outside box too. So, I mean, as long as there wasn't something heavy put on it, I thought it was packed very well and you shouldn't expect any issues getting uh, it shipped. And here's what the aquarium looks like. First, taken out of the box, you can see at the bottom there's that black, that's a, uh, a leveling mat. But this is the aquarium when it was first taken out without uh, putting anything in it at all, and you can see what it looks like. And so here is the actual aquarium that I have set up now. So this is the 20 gallon model of the Clear Mini. They also have a six gallon, 10 gallon, 16 gallon and then a 30 gallon. And so this is a cube size. The actual size of it is um, 17 inches by 17 inches by 15 inches tall. So it's pretty much just almost exactly a cube. The glass thickness is six millimeters or a quarter inch. Now, as far as my thoughts for it and the pros and cons. So the first good thing is it comes with a self leveling mat. Uh, I saw that earlier when I showed it empty chart of the sea. Now there's a little layer, just a little a uh, layer of foam, but no matter what you put it on, it'll help just level it and keep it even, and you won't have to worry about it uh, being uneven or wobbly or anything. It'll just help for the durability of the tank long term. So it's nice that they include that with it. It's the perfect size. Next thing is the silicone is just very clean. You can see there's not any extra. A lot of other tanks, even when it is clear silicone, there'll be extra on the sides, clouding it up. It's just like perfectly seamless there on every corner. It uh, has a very professional look, so if you're trying to make um, kind of professional looking aquascapes or you just want a really nice looking tank, uh, this is the tank for you. Um, just looks very professional. The silicone job um, helps a lot on that, but um, just looks very professional, very, very clean. Um, the glass, you can see through it very nicely. It supposedly is Starfire Ultra Clear Glass, but either way, whatever it's made out of, it's just super clear, you can see right through it. Um, looks beautiful both close up and from far away. As I said when I was unboxing it, it was packaged very well. I didn't have any issues getting it. Um, it was shipped right to my door, put on my porch, and didn't have any damage or anything coming out. I thought it was packaged well and safely. And then also this size at least, at any size lower, obviously, it can just be carried by one person pretty easily. And then the last thing is um, getting tall 20 gallons um, isn't always the easiest thing to find, usually they're longs. So if you do want a tall 20 gallon, um, this is a good pick for you. It's almost 18 inches tall. It's definitely a good pick for if you do want a taller 20 gallon aquarium. Like if you wanted to keep one angel fish in the sea or something, that'd probably be fine, I would say. Now next, uh, for the cons, and there's not that many, the first is it's expensive. 
but you would expect that with any rimless aquarium really but it is pricey like if you just want to get a 20 gallon aquarium and you don't care about the rimless look i mean you can probably spend like 10 to 20 percent of what this costs so there is a big price difference there right now on the website this aquarium is about 180 dollars and i actually got it for 140 for black friday sale so i did get it on a discount but it is pricey i would expect to spend about 180 dollars um, when you go to buy this now uh, it also isn't the cheapest rimless aquarium you can get i did find the uns 20 it's slightly cheaper 150 dollars right now so if you are looking for the cheapest rimless aquarium you can get that probably is the cheapest one now even though that is a little negative for this one, uh, this one still isn't the most expensive one. It's actually, when I looked at all the rimless ones I could find online, this was the second cheapest. So it's still not too pricey in regards to other aquariums, but you can find a better deal if you just want a 20 gallon that's rimless. Um, now a few other very small negatives, although they're kind of nitpicking, is that um, I have scratched the glass um, in a few places. I don't know if I can find a place here. And yes, yeah, so I have scratched glass in a few places here. There's one right here that you can kind of see. Um, now, I wouldn't say it's super weak, but uh, you do have to be careful. Um, I did have a period where there was pretty heavy allergy on the glass and I was using one of the metal scrapers. So imagining I got a piece of gravel or sand stuck in it and scratched it myself. But I would just keep aware that uh, you can scratch it. So um, it's not completely scratch free. Um, so do be careful when you're cleaning it. Uh, now I wouldn't say it's going to scratch more than other glass and definitely less than acrylic, but uh, just something to keep in mind that um, it can scratch um, if you're not paying attention when you're cleaning it. The other last one is um, sometimes for rimless aquariums no one cares about a lid, but sometimes you're keeping fish where you do definitely want a lid and it doesn't have any lid options um, just for this type of aquarium. Waterbox doesn't offer any, so if you do want a lid you either have to make your own DIY well, there are net kits that you can get. Um, I know UNS aquariums, they usually have pre-built um, lids that you can buy for these, but Waterbox doesn't. So that's another negative that you have to consider that you're gonna have to uh, get a kit or mix in your own DIY net. But otherwise, there's really impossible to find negative reviews on this. So I was looking online, so you could find anything that I wasn't thinking of, and there really isn't much of anything that is actually significant. So otherwise, I mean, I tried to nitpick a few things, but it's really just positive things about it. Um, besides the price, if the price doesn't matter for you and you want a nice room this aquarium, um, it's absolutely beautiful and I'm very happy I got it. So overall, as you can see, my thoughts on the Waterbox Aquarium are very positive. It was really hard to find anything negative to say, even the few things I said were kind of nitpicks that really uh, don't matter. So if you're in the market for a rimless aquarium, uh, I think they're an absolutely great pick uh, and they'll ship it right to your door too no matter what size and you can get uh, sizes like I much smaller down to six gallons or they even have um, freshwater aquariums up to 167 gallons and saltwater ones even larger. I would definitely recommend looking out for sales around holidays. Um, for Black Friday I got a decent deal of mine um, so definitely look out for sales if you can wait if you're not in a rush for it and you might be able to snag yourself a nice little discount. I definitely can see myself getting a water box in the future and actually my kind of dream aquarium is the 167 gallon um, clear pro that they have but besides that i probably would get other water boxes in the future maybe a, a 30 gallon or something in the mid-range if i wanted to or even a smaller nano so if i were to say would i buy it again 100 percent, 100 percent buy and probably will buy water box aquariums again in the future if you have any questions though about this aquarium or water box in general or about my shipping experience or you have experience with the water box yourself that you want to share, please let me know in the comments. I've done two aquascapes now in this aquarium and I'll link to time lapses of them in the description. And if you found this video helpful, please give it a like so others can find it as well more easily. And anyways, I'll catch everyone in the next video.